Don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. Yo, man, what's good, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video, man. As y'all seen by the little clip, you feel me, and the little title or whatever in the thumbnail, you feel me, bro? I'm finna tell y'all boys how you wanna riz up a girl, you feel me? Like, it ain't even hard to riz up a girl. Like, the shit y'all call riz is just a normal conversation. So that little clip y'all just seen in the beginning, bro, that was me or whatever, bro. And I'm finna just basically break down that shit. Now, I, I don't, I didn't make the whole, I'm not gonna post that whole video because a majority of them motherfuckers in the video was, was average, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, and I'm not finna show y'all a game with my average girls. you feel me? Now, I'm not saying every girl don't look good because every girl look good in their own way, you feel me? But I'm only trying to show y'all the, the, the bad, bad, you know what I'm saying? So, in other words, bro, if y'all want to see more content like that, like y'all want to see full videos, like a little full public interview of me talking to girls and shit, bro, y'all let me know and I can get that for y'all. I'm going to get it. I got some on the way, matter of fact. I got some full videos on the way, matter of fact, because some of y'all, when I posted that clip or whatever, folks were like, oh, drop the full video, but I ain't even going to drop that full video, but I will make a whole another one for y'all, just because I fuck with y'all, you feel me? And if you new to the channel and you just really want to see that shit and you want me to break down that shit, bro, I'm going to stop talking so much and I'm going to get to the point. Let's go. So, even though y'all just seen the clip that i showed in the beginning bro i'm finna just technically break that shit down to y'all and show y'all how game is just really talking to a fucking girl you see me bro and look if, if i if you was in the video listen listen if i if you watching this video and you came and you was supposed to, and you was in the public interview i'm not posting the full interview i ain't gonna lie i went fucking with it all the way you feel me because it went lit enough i only want to drop shit that's lit as hell you see me but i'm just gonna still show this little part the first clip bro let me let me run that motherfucker Boom, you see, boom, got him blushing, got him laughing or whatever. Cool. All I all I did was just have a normal conversation with a girl. You see what I'm saying? That's all that was happening in the first clip. A lot of y'all niggas won't even walk up to a group of girls. That's the first problem, right? The first problem is y'all niggas' confidence. It don't matter how you look. We ain't even talking about that yet. You see what I'm, I'm trying to teach y'all how to raise up a girl, how to spit game with a girl, whatever that is. I don't even like saying that shit. I just like saying the words because that's words y'all can relate to. But me, I don't even call it that shit. I just call it being comfortable. Because right there, that clip where they was laughing or whatever, got them blushing or whatever, bro, I didn't even say no special shit. I was just having a normal conversation. You feel me? So if a girl fucking with you, she gonna fuck with you. Now, for the niggas that be like, oh, I'm ugly. I'm ugly. The way you stop being ugly, bro, I got a whole other YouTube videos on that shit of how to look better instantly. It really is just your confidence. That's number one. And then the rest is like your physical appearance, bro. Your cologne, you feel me? Your hygiene, your skin clear. You getting the hairstyle that fit you and shit like that. You feel me? That's the way you could physically look better. So I don't want to hear, oh, I'm ugly. Don't don't call yourself ugly. Don't call yourself ugly. Simple. You feel me? You, you, you should be confident in yourself because God made you the way he made you for a reason. Simple. But look. The first part, bro, the reason, I, I ain't even say no special shit to get motherfuckers blushing, bro. I was just having a normal conversation. You feel me? And I know y'all couldn't hear the first part. The second part, y'all gonna part, y'all gonna be able to hear. You feel me? So that's the first problem with a lot of y'all. Y'all ain't even got the confidence to go even walk up to a group of girls. I don't give a fuck if they one, if it's one girl versus if it's 20 girls. If I'm finna do some shit, bro, guess what? I'm gonna still go do it, bro. That'd be the problem with a lot of y'all. Y'all, y'all be like, oh, she with a friend group. Oh, it's too many of them. I'm embarrassed, bro. What you embarrassed for, bro? The worst that can happen is they be like, uh, I'm not fucking with you, bye. And you, and you and you say bye, you have a good day. They say you have a good day and you walk the fuck off. It's that simple. You see what I'm saying, bro? So it's like, it's honestly like, bro, I don't understand why people make it so difficult to talk to girls, bro. Like, and that shit really come from y'all niggas being on y'all phone and glorifying girls and shit. But that's a whole nother topic. You feel me? The first thing is confidence, bro. That's really key. And just being comfortable. You feel me? I was comfortable as fuck walking up to them to them motherfuckers, bro. I didn't give a fuck if it was one of them versus if it was ten of them. I didn't care. You feel me? So look, let's let's get to the next part of the uh of the, of the clip that I put in here. All right, who I'm here with? Easy. You see when I'm talking to her, I'm I'm comfortable. I don't look tight. I don't look nervous. I'm not in no. I'm not looking like y'all niggas be looking. Some of y'all be looking like like these, like your neck get all small and shit. What up? What's good? My name is DeMarco, and I'm here. Like, bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm comfortable. It's just a normal conversation. So, let's keep it tight. So, I asked her to rate me 1 through 10. Have you seen by the clip? I asked her to rate me 1 through 10. She rated me 1 through 10. She said, I look good in my outfit. 
physical appearance, the way you niggas carry yourself. That's another way to rig up a girl or to talk to a girl in a normal way, bro. I didn't say no flirtation shit. I didn't, I didn't over the top. I ain't give motherfuckers no crazy compliments. I didn't do none of that, bro. A lot of y'all walk up to a girl, the first thing y'all do is say, oh, you really fine. You so cute. You don't even got to do all that, bro. You can walk up to her and start a regular conversation like I did. You feel me, bro? And the only reason I did the Can You Rate Me 1 through 10, bro, is because I was making a YouTube video that I was going to potentially post, but I didn't fuck with it because I felt that, the, you feel me? I felt that that shit could have been way better, you feel me? And I got some coming for y'all, like I said in the beginning. But that's the only reason I asked them to rate me 1 through 10. I can spark up a conversation with girls in multiple ways, just like you should be able to, bro. There's no reason you should have anxiety when talking to motherfuckers. You know that, right? There's no reason you should be nervous when going up to a group of girls. You know that, right? You, there's no reason you should have low self-esteem. You know that, right? Because you unique as fuck. You that guy, bro. Simple as that. You feel me? But when I walked up to her, I just told her, wait, rate me 1 through 10. And the only reason I said that was because it was a YouTube video. Now, if you walk up to a girl and ask her to rate you 1 through 10 or some regular shit, you come off insecure. But she knew the vibe because it was for a YouTube video. You feel me? So she rated me a 10 out of 10, bro. She said my appearance, I look cute, and my outfit, bro. You feel me? My outfit, the outfit, the way you, the way you dress means a lot. Simple, bro. The way you carry yourself means a lot, bro. The way you carry yourself means a lot, bro. So you need to make sure that you carrying yourself the right way, bro. Get some cologne. You feel me? I'm, I'm putting y'all on gang. And look, I'm finna put y'all on a little gang. Get some cologne, bro. The cologne, if it don't smell good, don't don't pick it up. Every cologne don't smell good. But you do not gotta go and buy no designer cologne. That shit is good, bro. But you don't have to buy that shit. You feel me? Just start wherever you can start, my nigga. Get you some cologne. Get you a little necklace, my nigga. Start taking care of your skin. Get you a routine. And you don't even got to do it for the hoes. Do it for you. You feel me? When I get up, bro, and I go wash my face, I'm not doing it for the hoes. I don't. I just don't want bumps on my face. I do it because I want that. You feel me, bro? That's a, that's another thing. Y'all niggas got to start trying to do everything for hoes, bro. If you doing everything for hoes, the hoes ain't fucking with you because you're supposed to be dominant. You supposed to be doing shit and leading your own self. You feel me? The whole shouldn't be leading you or manipulating you to do shit. You should do it because you want to. You feel me? It's that simple. But look, you that girl shouldn't motivate you to have to take care of yourself. You should motivate yourself to take care of yourself because you should want better for yourself. You shouldn't just do it for the hoes, if you get what I'm saying. But she rated me a 10 out of 10. She said, because my appearance, you feel me? My appearance played a part, you feel me? And that's because guess what? I take care of myself. You feel me? That, and you should take care of yourself too. You feel me? Then she said, my outfit. You feel me? So the way you dress means a lot. So start taking more time on your outfits, bro. You feel me? And then she didn't say this part, but this played a role too. Is why she rated me a 10 out of 10 because I was comfortable. I made her feel comfortable. You feel me? A lot of y'all niggas, when y'all walk up to a girl, y'all make situations awkward as hell. It do not have to be awkward. Girl, to walking up talking to a girl is only as awkward as you make it. Because you have control. Because you is the male in the situation, bro. The thing that y'all don't realize, bro, is a lot of girls, bro, they let niggas lead the way. They just kind of play with the with the dude. Like if a nigga come up comfortable as shit, the girl gonna nine times got ten be more comfortable. If the nigga come up all awkward, she gonna feel awkward because that's the motherfucking atmosphere that he created. You feel me? That's the atmosphere that he created in the environment. And now if I walk up to her just having a normal conversation and my body language and shit, you, know, you probably like, okay, well, how can I be comfortable? You legit be comfortable. How can I make it look like, oh, I'm comfortable so she can be comfortable? You really be comfortable. You have to be comfortable, bro. And you feel me? Just, just be comfortable in your skin, bro. You feel me? You have to be comfortable in your skin. When you walk up to a girl, bro, you shouldn't have no anxiety or no shit like that because if you get anxiety and shit, that, be, that mean you think that she better than you or some shit like that. And ain't nobody better than you. Ain't no nigga better than you. Ain't no female better than you. You are beneath no one. And when you realize these things, you are going to naturally start taking care of yourself more. And you are going to naturally be more confident. You feel me? And she didn't say this part, but like I said, the way I made her feel comfortable made her feel more like connected because it was more it was a little more in a comfortable environment like i said if i would have made that shit way awkward and weird bro she probably wouldn't even rated me a 10 because she was like what type of vibe is this nigga on so your vibe means a lot even though some bitches even though some girls be like oh, i don't go off personality or oh, i go off personality they go off looks but at the same time personality and your body language means a lot at the same time you feel me your looks mean something yes i'm not finna sit here and say you could be a zero out of ten trying to talk to bad girls now you can upgrade your looks because there's no such thing as no ugly dude and I'm going to make a whole nother video on that. But looks do mean something. But there's ways to boost your looks up. 
You feel me? But vibe means something too. If you got a good vibe, bro, and you just being genuine, and you just talking your shit, and just, just vibing with her and making her feel comfortable and shit, she gonna fuck with you more. Then you making it feel all awkward. Because it's only, it's only as awkward as you make it. You feel me? But this is just me breaking down this little shit a little bit. You feel me? Because a lot of times I be really telling y'all, if you new to the channel, you need to hear this. And if you been fucking with the channel, you need to hear this. A lot of times on this YouTube channel, I be telling y'all to talk to girls and shit, but y'all really don't see me doing it. So more, more often, I'm finna start showing y'all me in action. Me talking to motherfuckers and shit like that. You feel me? So y'all can you know the real. You feel me? Like, I'm not saying this was no game because this was not no game. It's just it was simply me talking to a girl. You feel me, bro? It was simply me talking to a girl. And that's all game really is. You feel me? Now, I do got more content coming out like this. So for the people that's like, oh, drop the full video. That full video, my nigga, I'm not dropping it. I went fucking with it. Like I said, the vibe just went right on the vid. There wasn't no wrong with the vid, but I just felt that it could have been way better. The, the people in it could have been littered. Shit could have been more vibe. You feel me? It could have been more littered. So I do got more content like that coming out for y'all if y'all want to see public interviews. So y'all let me know. You feel me? And learn something from this video or whatever, bro, because you can learn something from everything in your life. You feel me? But that's all I got for y'all on today. Make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on post notes. Follow me on Instagram if you're not following me. Y'all let me know if y'all want to see more public interviews. And let me know the questions y'all want me to ask you in the public interviews. And I'm going to catch y'all next time. Hey, on the road to 10K, we're going to hit it real soon. But first, we got to hit 9, then we hit 10, then we hit 100K. We only going up. But I ain't going to talk about it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to catch y'all next time. Hey.